Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am gonna talk to you about a bolo that you may be walking past. If you see this item, always look it up. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. And when I say item, I mean brand or category. Always look it up. Some of these go for crazy money, but they are an amazing bread and butter. You really can't go wrong with this if you can source it cheap. But some of these I looked at and I was like, have I walked past that? Because I'll tell you about it a little more here later. I've walked past these. I didn't know. I did not know. And that's why I do these research videos to help me learn and to help you guys learn. So let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, before we get started here, I hope you will join me tonight at my Whatnot show at 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be selling toys. It's going to be super fun. So come hang out. That referral link is down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join with it. Here's a short preview of some of the items I'm bringing, and then we're going to get right into this Bolo category video. So this is just a small portion of what I'm bringing tonight. Uh, it's going to be vintage to now. I have a whole bunch of these Funko Pops. I said it right. Yes, I usually say Funko and it's Funko. But these are all boxed. I want to say, I can't remember how many I have, but you can see it's like full. I've got some new old stock toys here. I picked up these really fantastic vintage um, dollhouse figures. There's something really cool and vintage in this. So I'm going to be selling those. I've got some LOLs. These are um, still in the original packaging. It looks like somebody maybe unboxed them and already had them and just left them in the packaging. I have a bunch of LOL small lots that I'm going to be doing. I'm still getting things together. It's going to be vintage to now. I've got some vintage strawberry shortcake. Um, I don't know. what What is this? Um, oh, what is she called? Oh, I can't think of her name. But anyway, I've got her and some other vintage items. And then, you know, I've just got some normal, just everyday modern toys. I've got some American Girl stuff in here. I think this is a Five Nights at Freddy's neon plush. So it is going to be a great show. I hope to see you guys tonight. And let's get into this Bolo category video. I also wanted to say that is not all I'm bringing. I still have a bunch of toys to sort through. That's just a little glimpse of some of the items I'm bringing tonight. And I hope to see you tonight. Let's get started on the Bolo category video. Okay, Bolo buddies, are you guys ready to see this big money Bolo? Oh my goodness. Now, a lot of these are bread and butter. Some of them are big money, but it is always a pickup for me. If I can get it for the right price, I am picking up this Bolo. So let's get started here. I'm gonna share it with you. Do you guys have any guesses? Um, I'd say put it in the comments, but we're gonna dig right in. So let's get started here with the first item. And what are we talking about? We are talking about VeggieTales. If you see VeggieTales, pick it up and look it up. Again, if you can get it for 50 cents or a quarter or even a dollar, just buy it and get out of there because you're gonna make some money. Now, some of these items were mass produced. Most of them were not. And even the ones that were mass produced in large quantities, they weren't super large quantities like your uh, TV shows that are on today that are just tons and tons of toys. You know, there's lots of them. They don't sell for as much money because they were mass produced and there's so many of them. VeggieTales, probably limited production on most of their items. This is fabric. So this is not a toy, but the ones we're going to talk about after this are toys mostly. There's one that's going to knock your socks off. So stay tuned for that. But fabric, anything that is Veggie Tales themed, check it out. This fabric sold for $43 plus shipping. The next item, look at this. These are from 1998. So they are vintage. Of course, the older the item is, the more likely that the item is damaged or been thrown out or lost, no longer in sets. So Vintage is always going to sell for more in most cases. This is a lot of two. Big idea, 1998, VeggieTales, Josh, and the big wall playset. I think that's supposed to be whale playset, 
and it's Bob and Larry. And we're going to talk about something here in a little bit that I've never seen before that I am definitely going to be on the lookout for. But these two little figures sold for $44 plus shipping. The next item are these Christmas ornaments. And personally, I don't know if I would have sold these as a lot or parted them out. That's something that you're going to have to decide. They may have made more money parting them out, or maybe they did their comps and searched it and decided to sell them as a lot and keep them together. Either way, Hallmark ornaments can be a big money bolo. Look those up if you see them also. Cartoon characters, things that are themed, that come in series and sets. Very, very good. Some of these you can get at garage sales for like 50 cents each. People underprice ornaments all the time. So definitely be on the lookout. This set of Hallmark ornaments sold for $48 plus shipping. This guy right here is a Veggie Tales plush Jimmy the Gourd orange toy Fisher Price. Not working. Not working. It doesn't even work and it sold for $50. Some of the characters are super hard to find. So this was probably a limited run. Probably only so many were made. Many of them have probably been damaged or, you know, just people don't know to sell them. So there's not a whole lot out there. So this guy is a be on the lookout. Here is another one. This is VeggieTales, Archambald, Asparagus, Jonah, Ducky, 10-inch plush from 2002. So this one is also vintage. $49.99 on this guy. And let me show you. Right here, you can see it says Big Idea woo, on the tag. It's not letting me pull it up. But it also has the date. There we go. Big Idea 2002. And this is from Blue Box Toys. Here is one, and I have sold this one before. A lot of times you can probably part this out and make more money. I know if you guys watch my bread and butter videos, you have seen me sell the kangaroos, um, the little characters, the figures separately. Usually it's because I don't have the complete set. Now they sold this complete set for $49.99 plus shipping. It's up to you guys how you want to do it, but you could potentially sell each little set of characters for 10 to 15 each, depending on what it is, how many are listed. This is a good um, time to maybe check Mercari or Poshmark. If it's flooded on eBay, you may get a little more on those platforms. I do have referral links down below. If you guys are not selling on those platforms, you can get $10 to shop on Poshmark if you join with my link, $10 to shop on Mercari if you join with my link, and another 30, or no, wait, is it 30 or 20? I forget now. I think another $20 or something like that to shop once you sell $100 worth of stuff. So definitely use those referral links to join. Mercari is a great place to also source. Um, so check it out. And if you're not selling on multiple platforms, if your sales are down and low, you may want to consider getting uh, new eyes on your items because people shop on the platforms they sell on. I use List Perfectly. I start my items on eBay and I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. If you want to learn more about that, there is a demo how to video down below. You can use referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. Basically, it's an easy way to cross post where it takes the items to the other platforms for you. So check that out. Think about it. I know everybody's complaining about slow sales. We've got that glitch that's going on. Lots of glitches. But um, I am a firm believer in more eyes on your items by using different platforms. And eBay will get flooded with toys. So if you sell toys, Poshmark and Merc Mercari are great platforms. And I have what sold videos for both Poshmark and Mercari. If you guys want to see some of the items I'm selling on those, I do those what sold separately. So check those out. So parting this out or keeping it together, let me know in the comments what you would have done. Veggie Rock CD, Veggie Tales Christian Music 2004 Factory Sealed. This CD sold for $64.99 plus shipping. Media does sell, especially Veggie Tales Media. Wait until you see some of these coming up. Knock your socks off. This one, um, because of the whole eBay glitch, I talk about it in this video right here eBay glitch hurting sales. I was not able to get this one to pop up. So I've just got it. I got it to this mode and I had to stop. 
This is a VeggieTales mix-up Larry the Cucumber, Mr. Potato Head dress-up, six figures, and it sold for $80 with free shipping. Now, like I said, this glitch has been happening, so this video took me way longer to make. Unfortunately, um, I just had to go check out that glitch, and I just had to keep clicking and clicking and clicking to get it to finally pull up, but this one I couldn't get, so I apologize. You're going to see it in a different format, and the picture is not as big. So very, very frustrating. I hope that eBay gets this glitch figured out because I think it could be hurting our sales. And I talk about that more in that other video and I will try to remember to link it down below. But there you go. Mix it up, Larry. It's like a potato head. Here's another one that I couldn't get to pull up. It is Super Larry Copter Veggie Tales Larry Boy Helicopter Toy with Sounds and Figures. $74.99 plus shipping on this. These toys are bolos. I have sold this one before. If I remember correctly, mine sold for over $100. This is one that you want to price high and wait for the right buyer. It is a hard to find VeggieTales Larry Boy Super Suction Ears plush toy tested and worked. So it does talk. And this one I have sold and it, it is a good bolo for sure. These are um, plush and this person decided to lot these up and that may have been the we best way to go. They sold it for $74.99 plus shipping, which is fantastic. This is a plush. This is not the one you just saw before. This one does not have the suction cups. The one that goes for big money is the one with the suction cups and the one that talks. Now, could they have parted this out and made more money? I don't know. You would have to look them up individually, but $74.99 plus shipping looks pretty good to me. This one I've never seen. It's a VeggieTales Princess Castle playset with figures and accessories, also by Big Idea. And this sold for $70 plus shipping. I'm not sure if it's complete or not. This is another one where a lot of people probably find individual figures and they sell them individually. If you can find, let's say, this princess right here in the front, if you can put in your keywords that it goes with the Princess Castle playset, that may help you get more eyes on your items and you may sell it for more. Because somebody who has this castle may just be looking for that particular princess that they don't have. These are Veggie Tales squeeze toys for, it says original package, carry case. This is from 1998. So it looks like they've, it's got the original packaging, but it is a pre-owned item. This sold for $79.95 plus shipping and they're little squeeze toys. Veggie Tales, Larry's Favorite Stories, Super Rare, VHS, Tested. Here is the thing you are looking for. Blockbuster. This sold for $92. And let me show you here. Does it say it on the back? I'm trying to figure out. I know one of them said Blockbuster on the back. I don't see where this one says Blockbuster. Oh, here it is right here. This one's on the front. So I'm going to give you a couple variations to look at right here exclusively for Blockbuster. So if you see Blockbuster, look it up because these were probably more um, exclusive. So more limited, less made, harder to find. Here's another one. And it says Blockbuster here. It also says, does it say it on here? I thought I saw it on the back of, okay, it's not this one. It's another one. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, let's see. This one sold for $90 with one bid on auction. And this right here sold for 92 and this one sold for 90. And I believe this is the same movie. So that one is definitely a bolo. Here is another one. Classic classics from the CRISPR blockbuster exclusive. And it's got the same info down here. It also says it on the back. This pops out a little more because you see the actual blockbuster like logo and here's the tape now $75 for this one and you know what I feel like I had a ton of veggie tails somewhere and I didn't check them for I don't know where they're at are they in my money pile did I list them did I sell them I need to check and see if any of them are blockbuster I hope I don't I wouldn't have donated them I hope not oh my goodness where are they I need to find my VHS and look them up ah that's crazy all right here is another one veggie tales where's God when I'm scared original 1993 VHS version two read uh let's go read I don't know what this is gonna say uh what you're currently looking at is a version two of the original 1993 
Only 500 copies made. This is a very hard to find tape and doesn't come up for sale very often. So they go in to give you detailed information as to why this one is harder to find and why you should buy it. So that is pretty smart. They ended up selling this for $135 plus shipping. So this comes into somebody probably who specializes in selling these. They're probably sourcing on eBay and on Mercari and Poshmark looking for these and then reselling them because they know what to look for. This one right here is a used VeggieTales study guide companion, Jonah and VeggieTales movie. It's a VHS, but it's a study guide. Never seen this one before, but I'm definitely going to be looking for it because this sold for $100. Here is the pirate ship. I have not seen the pirate ship either, and it's got the little characters with it. So can you sell the pirate ship individually? Yes, probably so. Is it a big money bolo? I don't know if it's going to sell for as much. This one has figures with it. So anytime you can make a playset complete or almost complete, it's going to increase the value of your item. This one sold for $135 plus shipping. Veggie Tales Brazilian dub in Portuguese. Would you have walked past this or would you have picked it up? These five DVDs, they are brand new and sealed, sold for $139.99 plus shipping. Big Idea Veggie Tales Random Figurines Lot and Rare Puppet Yellow Whale. I have never seen the yellow whale. Check it out. It's a puppet. Uh, if you missed my Bolo category video on puppets, definitely go check it out. This is another one that may have done better if they parted it, did, uh, they parted it out. That's hard to say. Or maybe selling it as a lot was better. But there's a lot of Veggie Tales in here, these little figures that I have never seen before. So they did get $212.50 plus shipping. So great bolo. And right here, nope, I'm sorry, I lied. I lied. This one I had to look up on Terapeak. So what I did is I copied the title because it was crossed out. You can't see it right there. And I put it into uh, the, the research and then I went down and I looked on Terapeak and it actually they took a best offer for $155. And you can see right here, it says flexible prices. So what they're saying is they will accept an offer. So use Terapeak to check those best offers. This one right here, vintage Y2K modern lot of 34 VeggieTales, Bob, Larry, Fisher Price, Zubies Plush. Now, $224.96 plus shipping, Sounds fantastic to me. Could they have parted it out and got more? I don't know. Here's this guy that we saw that was kind of hard to find. And what'd he sell for? 50 bucks? Is that the other little guy that sold for like 50 bucks? So a lot of these are probably bread and butter, but some of them alone, standing alone, being sold as a single could go for big money. So always look them up. But a lot of resellers don't want to, um, the hassle of selling individual items, singles, they would rather lot them up like this. So sourcing on platforms is an option. Now at $224.96, do I think that somebody could buy this and make a ton of money on it? No, probably not. But if this person sourced this cheap and wanted to sell them individually, they quite possibly could have made more than $224 because there's 34 items here. If you sold them for $10 a piece, that would be $340. And some of those go for more than $10 a piece. So just something to keep in mind. Do you want the quick sale, sell it quick, just one listing less time, or do you want to part it out and make more money? Up to you, completely optional. Let me know what you guys would do in the comments. This one is a VeggieTales rare fifth anniversary po promotional art book folders and stationery. This sold on auction for $270. So... This is something that you might look at and not even think twice about because it just looks kind of normal. Like it's ephemera, kind of. And you might pass it up. Veggie Tales sells. Always look it up. And you can see right here, a lot of these I went in and I actually confirmed that they sold. And this one sold for 270 with awesome feedback. The last item here is this Veggie Tales radio disc, and it's got three songs, two radio sports. It's like a Q&A, Esther, uh, the girl who became queen. And this is obviously a rare, hard-to-find item. This sold for $202.50 
plus shipping. All right, you guys, first off, before we go, don't forget to come to my whatnot show tonight at 10, 15 PM Eastern standard time. I am going to be selling toys. I do not have any veggie tales, but because this is a toy category video and I'm doing a show tonight, I wanted to let you guys know about it. There's a $15 credit down below if you use my link to join whatnot. That is a referral link. So you're going to get $15 to shop. Also, shout out to Cha Ching King. Go check him out, especially if you're new to eBay. He has tons and tons of educational videos. He is really, really good at formatting videos for beginners. And he is a big money bolo finder. He's been doing this a long time. He is a great teacher. If you're not subscribed to the Cha Ching Ching, Cha-ching King. Go check him out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you were pretty surprised by this bolo. And thanks for watching.